we're going to derive an equation here uh, to calculate the nozzle velocity at the exit uh, of a nozzle. So this is our nozzle, and we're going to say that this is station 8, and this is station 9. And we would say that from the law of conservation of energy uh, and the steady state energy equation, that the energy at this point must be equal to the energy at this point. So that is the steady state energy equation. So it's just saying that the enthalpy and kinetic energy and potential energy at this point is equal to the enthalpy, kinetic energy and potential energy at this point. We're going to assume the nozzle is horizontal, so therefore the potential energy is not going to change, so we can cancel that out. So I'm left with this equation. And now I'm just going to rearrange the equation, keeping uh, C9 to one side, so the velocity, C9, uh, to one side. So I'll multiply both sides by 2 and then just rearrange. And that's what I get. And the change in enthalpy is Cp times the change in temperatures. But if we're talking about a gas turbine engine, the velocity here at the exit of the turbine is pretty small. And in fact, we could, we could probably say it's negligible. And if we make that assumption, we could get rid of that uh, component of the equation. And then we just have C9 squared is equal to twice the specific heat capacity constant pressure of air, T8 minus T9. And that means the actual uh, velocity is the square root of that. Okay, so that is, uh, that is the formula that, uh, that we're going to use. And, you know, if this is station 8, station 9, you know, normally we have the, the temperature and pressure. So we have the temperature and pressure at this station. And, you know, the pressure here, we can, you know, maybe assume it's, it's ambient. Or if not, uh, we would have to calculate the critical pressure. But anyway, we, if we have this pressure, we can work out the, the temperature here at station 9 from, uh, from this formula, assuming it's an adiabatic process. And if we have this temperature at T9, then we can substitute it in for this formula here, and we would cal calculate our velocity. So that is the equation to calculate the velocity at the exit of a nozzle.